Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video we will discuss the latest Windows 11 dev build update and that is version 25120, which was just released in the dev channels. First of all, for those interested in trying out this latest build but do not have Windows 11 installed on their PCs, you can now download the freshly released ISOs for this exact build. So make sure to access the link that I posted in the description below. Note that you have to be a Windows Insider to to be able to download this latest Windows 11 ISO, but that's free and easy to set up. And now let's have a little description of the general improvements and fixes in this build. Once again, the guys from Microsoft stated that some of the users who are insiders in the dev channel may get to try out new ideas, features and experiences to help validate certain concepts. That means that with this build some of you will get a new search box right in the middle of your desktop. Well maybe a bit up higher. I'm not sure about that, but it seems like this feature would better fit, of course, tablet users. This is once again Microsoft's attempt to push their own Edge browser and pretty sure this won't last very long. So let's say if you press on the search box and type in a keyword and then press on enter, you will be directly taken to a new window of the Edge browser. Maybe in the long run for some of the users this might prove useful. But the good thing about it is that you can actually take it off the desktop, so if you'd like to remove this search box, you can right click on the desktop, choose show more options and then simply toggle off the show search option. That's pretty much with the features, we can now move on to the fixes category. There are some fixes that address the suggested actions which now should appear for more date and time formats and they also addressed some issues with certain formats when copying a date and or time. Next, in the settings category, the update fixed an issue that could crash settings when opening and looking at the battery usage graph. So that meant that sometimes it happened that when you were looking at the battery usage graph, your PC would go haywire but now this is not happening anymore. Another fix in the settings category relates to improved performance of displaying Wi-Fi networks after enabling Wi-Fi from the Wi-Fi section of quick settings. And lastly in the task manager section the update addressed an issue leading to some unreadable text in the performance page when a contrast theme was enabled. Now it's fixed and all should be back to normal. And that was it. An important feature was added and a decent number of fixes were addressed. What do you think about the new search bar? Let us know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!